There's going to be any resurrection. There's going to be any Jerusalem. I don't care. Man. You don't understand? Look, no matter where you're dead at, that's where he's going to pick you up. <laughs> see? No matter what concept and opinion and theory you have, see? He's going to cut on the light and you're going to become what? The woman of clothes in the sun. Because, see, you're dead somewhere. Because when, when you came in this class, you was dead in this, you was dead in that, you was dead, you was dead in something. But he picked your dead butt up and resurrected you where? In Jerusalem above. And then you're clothed in the sun. That's power. That's like that, that sun standing still for about a day. And all you're doing is walking in the kingdom and you didn't do a doggone thing to deserve it. See? Is that it? All right, good. So, Jeremiah 30, uh, Jeremiah 51, 50, uh, not Jeremiah. Uh, Matthew 21, 52, you don't have to get it. And these are graves. And, many, and, and look, and once these graves are open, everybody say, yeah, what that means? I got to die to go to heaven? Yeah, you do got to die to go to heaven. Right? Yeah. See, but not the kind of death you're talking about, though, see? If we're going to un understand it, look, we're all dead anyway. Until right. y'all decide to what? Resurrect our hearts and minds. See? Excuse me. If I can stop shaking you, I'll put this back on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is that it? Okay. And the graves were open, and many bodies of the sons which slept the road, mm -hmm. and came out of the graves after his resurrection. Now see, you got those that were gathered out of the grave, and those that were what? That stayed in the grave. So that means somebody was resurrected, somebody stayed in the grave. So it's got to be the same way down here right now. Somebody's going to resurrect, and somebody's going to stay in the grave. Mm -hmm. See, and the only way you want to get out is to follow Yahshua Sai out. That, that's it. See? Who let him out? The cloud let him out. There was an angel in that cloud. Who let him out? See, was Joshua and them who let him out here? Was Joshua and them? Who's going to lead you out? Joshua decided. And you can't lead yourself, folks. You cannot lead yourself. If you're going to be gathered around him, you got to have a leader. See, it ain't your dean. See? See, it's not your dean and it's not your stuff either. That's right. All right. So now, look. So we see that. we all the way down there. We see it with, with Lord. Lord, when you preach the gospel, and what did he preach? The Lord said, what did he preach? It's going to rain. So what did he preach? What? If I just say it's going to rain, it's going to rain, you'd be saying, so what? It's going to rain. Yeah. Right. You got to do something else. You got to do one little better than that. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to rain, you get an ark, okay. but it's going to rain, and you have a KPP, you have a KPP, you have a KPP, you, you, you will resurrect. You won't, you won't die. So you, you did what? You preached what? The yeah. death, yeah. the burial. You yeah. didn't just preach the, the burial. It's going to burial. It's going to burial. It's going to burial. No, he didn't do He preached what? The death, the burial, and the resurrection. And if it wasn't good enough for them back then, they didn't want to hear that stuff. After 120 years, I'm sure they got pretty tired. You know what I mean? You've been doing the same thing for 120 years, and I'm pretty much tired. So, you know, they, you ain't going to change. Get away from it. But it was show sure enough showtime that that was all they needed to know. It was the death, the burial, and resurrection. That was enough to get them in the ark of Satan to be gathered in the ark, and there was light in the ark, but everywhere else, you know it was dark. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no rain like that before, because it didn't rain like that. It didn't rain anyway. But you understand, the clouds were dark. So it was dark out there, and the woman was what? Clothed where? In the sun, or in the ark. The ark of Satan. And look, that was a family of faith. Mm -hmm. See? And look, they all had the same name. That's right, God. See? And you got to have the same name. That's right. A new name will I give you. See? What name is that? Joshua Messiah. That's the name that you got. Now watch. Look, this high priest, on the day of atonement, he went up all in the most holy place. He had on his head, holiness unto himself. See, he did not. See, he had holiness unto him. See, Yahweh. But he had the stones in that. See, and those 12 stones. And he had the bells and the program. He had stones on his shoulder. He was just, he was loaded with the burden of the people on him. And he carried them around. But he that purpose of salvation. And when he went up there, you, and when he came out, they knew they said he was giving us what? Because the bells and the permagrams. Now you tell me why. Why do we at any at every class we ring the bells? Why not? See, I don't know, hit a trumpet or something. I don't know. Do this. Yeah, that no, you ring the bell. Why? Because when the bell is rung, now what? When the bell is rung, the gospel should have been preached. All right? That's why we ring the bell. It didn't be like a ton of bricks. That's why we got a gigantic bell over there. <laughs> we want you to hear it. All right? The job should be done. 
Not you, but y'all should decide through you. Now watch it. Because you have to build in the program. And it represents what? The Gentiles, and you got the Jew, and you got the, the Asian, and everybody's represented. Because he's what? He's got them all. He's got the whole thing covered. He's making salvation for, for everybody. The atonement, and atonement means what? A one man. So see, that means if you are one man, you'll be made one what? In him. See, the only way to be done is by the preaching of the gospel. There is no other way. I mean, hitting you upside the head, giving you money, you know, giving you food. None of that's going to work. It's the preaching of the gospel. And this may sound silly to you, but so what? It's the preaching of the gospel that saves the soul. It's the preaching of the gospel that resurrects a person's soul. What gospel? As you've always been read, 1 Corinthians 10, 15 chapter, death, the prayer of resurrection. Why is that so important? Because, look, it gets you into the holy place. See, and in the holy place, these vessels were gold. So in the book of Revelation, he says it's called city of gold. See, look, the city of gold. Why? Because, look, gold is skyrocketing now, going up and going down. See, he said your, your soul should be like what? Do what? Tried and what? And fire. Gold tried and fire. So, see, there's nothing more precious. So I'm, I'm glad gold is up. Because it, 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 it gold there, look, because it should show you one thing. Your soul is more precious than anything in the world. Anything in the world. There's nothing no more precious than that. Because your soul has to be added to that body. All right, so we got to do the time. See, we, we, we got to do the other creation. We got to do the physical creation. We got to do the Eve. We got to do the Adam. See, we got to do the Noah. See, we got to have the same thing with Abraham and, and Isaac and Jacob. We have to have you know, when we look at the spiritual conversation. We have to see the same principle of what? Of the woman clothing the sun and put forth the egg out. You know that. This and this, before this took place, they had to do a migration, and then the law was spoken down, and that's why it says what? The Old Testament. So see, everything that took place here, you can see the woman clothed in the sun, because this really is right here, take place right here. So that's the woman doing what? Clothed what? In the sun. Because the law wasn't given until they got around that mountain. So you got the woman clothed in the sun, and that's a type and a shadow of the promise that was made to Abraham in this seed. All the families of the earth would be what? Would be blessed. Both Jew and Gentile. Isn't that a great gathering? To gather all the Jews, all the Gentiles into what? Into one body? Yep. See? That's a great gathering. So that's the promise of great gathering. And we're always seeing how, look, what are we doing this way? Yash Messiah. We just walk around the earth like, what took place? They just walked up to him and said, hey, can I join you? You look like a pretty good man. Can I join you? You look like a pretty good preacher. Can I join you? No, they didn't do that. He did what? He called them unto him what? Unto himself. He saw one of those guys hanging up in the tree. I mean, hanging out in the tree. And then he said, what? You saw me in the tree? Hey, I believe you now. <laughs> you know, if you can see me and you wasn't there, look. Folks were drinking, look. And he had the power to do what? No matter where you at, to call you. You could be a fisherman. You could be a, I don't know what you are. You could be a tax man. You could be whatever you want to be. But he has the power to do what? To call you into what? Into his body. See? And that's what we're trying to get you to see. And he did that. He gathered his disciples around his body. It's like those stones were gathered right in that first place, in that stone. So you see it now. So this person is down here right now. How is he doing? See, he's gathering us, what? By the preaching of the gospel. See, now look. The sixth day of creation. First of all, let's do it this way. We have to start that five minutes. Look. This is the fourth day, and the sun was placed in the sky according to Moses' vision. Come on. Fourth day. So, each two way, each two sensations would mean that the woman is what? Called in the sun. That, isn't that simple or not? It is possible for you to be lit up and clothed in the sun because you are in. Yeah, you, it's a blessing to be in this thing. Everybody, you just don't feel like it's a blessing to be in this day because the sun is now standing still for about a day. And it will not go down. See? And he will gather his sons, his souls, into what? Into that body. Oh!